<laughs> no, I got to do a Dave shit. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, Janky Town. This is uh, episode number 58. And if you're not on Patreon, what we've started doing is for the higher tiered members, they get to sit in on a recording session. And this time around, is your name Gaber? Uh, Gabor, like Zsa, Zsa Gabor. Oh, uh, for some reason, because it, it reads G-A-B-O-R. I was like, oh, man, did you get teased a lot when you were a kid? Uh, actually, I had a nickname where I just avoided that whole mess. Oh, you did? Gubby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just went smart, by. smart. Yeah. Smart, dude. I had to rebrand myself. Yeah, so you get to join us, and uh, you're going to sit on you know what we quote-unquote call the magic, uh, but you're... Uh, yeah, this is the magic. <laughs> how the meat is made. Yeah, but you're definitely you're definitely going to be disappointed. Just a, just a heads up on that. But I want to get uh, to know all of our listeners, and obviously you're probably a Kevin and Bean fan, probably a huge Kevin and Bean fan. How did the love of Kevin and Bean and, uh, you know, probably the B team and uh, now Jankadown, how did that all... I know that's going to be a long... That's like a, 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 a pretty uh, hard to answer, but try, you know, the best as you can. Yeah, um, you know, I grew up in South OC, so our exposure to K Rock was through Love Line on Sunday nights okay. with uh, Poor Man, and so that was our first kind of hook, and then that kind of migrated us over to the morning show. That was after watching or, or listening to a healthy dosage of Rick D's. Um, oh, why would you do that? <laughs> Rick D's in the morning. <laughs> Tell me what time it is. Mm-hmm. It's a- it's hey, I listen to Rick D's too, man. <laughs> wow, really? Not me. Yeah. I, was, I was a Jay Thomas guy. Jay Thomas and Baker uh, Boys. I, I can't keep secrets from you guys. I got to come clean. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure, man, for sure. So, so it, it would. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Keep going. Keep going with your story. Yeah, yeah, no. So then it kind of uh, transitioned on to Kevin and Bean in the mornings, and and just following them, and essentially for the past couple of years, I've been holding on through the podcasts. Yeah, because. Uh, I do, I do a lot of international travel for my work okay. uh, pre-COVID, and I would take the podcast and wake up, start my day normal with the podcast in the morning. So it wow. was always this nice, tight connection to home, nice. like, a, like a warm blanket. Um, so you travel actually, a lot, right? Where's, where's the weirdest place you've been to? Oh, man. Uh, like the smallest, well, tiniest, weirdest, like, okay, cool. Yeah, not, not work-related, um, uh, Khartoum, Sudan. So, Cartoon, North oh, Africa, wow. Mr. Cartoon. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, uh, prior to this, you know, you and Dave had some communication back and forth, kind of organizing everything. And I got to be honest, I've never felt more important because is it true that you had to move a meeting for this? Yeah, oh, yeah. What oh, yeah. the hell, man? When what kind of world are you, <laughs> is somebody moving meetings to do something called Janky Town? I just find that extremely <laughs> funny. <laughs> you know? Not to do it, just to sit in and watch us yap, yeah, you know, man. like. For real, every every minute I sit in this meeting, I'm asking myself that same yeah. question. Well, man, uh, <laughs> Gabor, I, I I truly appreciate you uh, being a patron, and uh, thank you so much. And uh, what do you do for a living? Um, I work at a very small video game company. Oh no way! So wait, I'm PlayStation? sorry, did you say PlayStation? <laughs> yeah, PlayStation. what? Are you kidding? <laughs> that's right. That's startup. Oh my yeah, god, startup, dude! What do you do for them? Uh, well, if you can imagine, um, our base of operations is out of San Mateo in NorCal, and I handle all of the platform analytics for PlayStation. So everything that you do on the console, games you play, who you chat with, all of that gets digested by my team, Wow! and we provide all of the analytics for the platform for business. Wow, man, that sounds incredibly boring. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's, that's cold blooded, man. Cold. Uh, so it's a lot wait, of like so, you're looking at numbers and uh, algorithms. Are you the algorithm? No, I've got people that do the algorithms for me. Got so it. Okay. I, I I put together what the what the business case is for what we're supposed to be looking at. Like how is that supposed to push the needle for business? What should okay. we be looking at? All right. What decisions should we be doing? So. Okay, cool, man. Cool. All right. So are you the man when like PlayStation 5 comes out, you're like, everybody hits you up. Like I am going to hit you up right now. Like, <laughs> hey, do you have any PlayStations yeah. in your car right now? <laughs> you, you, not not far from the truth, man. Um, except for the, 
the part about the stockpile of my car. All that's, right. That's not there. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you, uh, you know, hang back and, uh, you know, from time to time, if we want to get your opinion on something, you know, we'll go to you, but we won't. enjoy no. it. <laughs> it's, our, it's our show, Omar. It's our show. <laughs> I mean, clearly you need me now. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. Muggos isn't here. It's, it's like, you know, we sit, we sit down for Gabor and we don't want to have all the small chit chat because we want to get to know him while, when we're recording. Yeah, we're and just of sitting course, here like being like Muggs, dumbasses. Yeah, yeah, we're sitting like dumbasses and Muggs isn't nowhere to be found. Oh, so speak whatever. Speak of the devil. Yeah, oh, oh, there he is. Now he's trying to connect. <laughs> So, uh, what's up, Muggos? That's it. He's not connected to the audio yet. He's going to join us soon. But uh, I want to start off the show. And uh, uh, Gabor, if we run a little long and you have to take off, dude, just just butt in and say, "Hey, man, you know it's been real uh, let down, and I gotta go." You know. <laughs> 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 uh, so I'll so, hold my judgment. Okay, 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 cool. <laughs> Uh, but I, I want to start with this because uh, I found this uh, very helpful, you know, for, especially for the people that are, you know, unfortunately suffering from uh, COVID-19. Here, check this out. Now more than ever, it's important for Americans to take care of their health. When it comes to protecting yourself against the COVID-19 virus, the FDA approved vaccine might not be the right choice for patients who are allergic to reality. That's why there's ivermectin. The COVID-19 treatment option for real patriots. With ivermectin, you can say nay to the FDA and take matters into your own hooves. Don't take ivermectin if you plan on driving, operating heavy machinery, or if you're wearing your good pants. Side effects of ivermectin can include uncontrollable vomiting and diarrhea, the inability to pronounce Kamala Harris's name, or a sudden urge to speak to the manager. Some patients taking ivermectin have reported hallucinations of lizard people in the halls of Congress. And in rare cases, finding Joe Rogan's podcast helpful and or informative. (laughs) Call your doctor if you begin to experience delusions of grandeur about the supremacy of your race. Homicidal thoughts or actions toward your elected representatives can occur without warning. Join the herd. Talk to your large animal veterinarian about ivermectin today. Or don't, because you're not a f***ing sheep. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, man. So, yeah, if you have the COVID-19 and uh, you want to take some Evermectin, that was a, there was a commercial for it. I think that Listen, was a spot oh. on. Listen, I know you joke, man, but <laughs> wh- what's the big deal? You've done Special K, so it's, for, it's a tranquilizer for horses. And then, you know, what if a side effect by ivermectin is, I think that's how you pronounce it, yeah. is, is you know, it's for horses. So what if you get a horse cock? Like, dude, Oh, my God. Boo! I, hey, uh, you God, know? God let's knows, take it. God knows I need one for sure. Cause. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? So what so. if you start, like, shooting jizz like a horse? Blah! Uh, like, you know, uh, even with your tiny cock. Like, I, Boom! I don't think the you wife. Know, like, I, I don't think the wife will be too happy about that one. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, all right? So, so I'm really you know, glad before I'm you mock all these people taking it, wait, wait, what's up? Uh, who's wait, that? Who's I'm that? really glad I'm late to this podcast. Oh man, this is uh, impeccable timing, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, Dave talking about horse cocks and your tiny cock. Why do I? Why do I want to be here? Oh, Does I- ivermectin? Does ivermectin help for sore throats? Because that's what I have right now. I'm just going to complain uh, the whole entire podcast. Uh, no, ivermectin doesn't help with the throat, but my pee-pee does. So let me <laughs> see. See, once again, once again, Mugs? this is just immature behavior. Mugs? Oh, you got to do it correctly. You got to go, my dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I would, but my kids are still here. They haven't left for dance class yet. So oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're almost yeah. out of here. Uh, Why Mugs? didn't you go? Yeah, yes. sure, sure. Mugs, meet uh, Gabor. He's uh, joining Gabor, us for this uh, session here. And, you are uh, you are a fly on your head member. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, you for that. that. And Gabor was definitely not shocked it's... by you being late. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Gabor, do you really have the time to really hear everything that happened uh, leading up to this podcast, or should we just move on? Oh, no, I, I want to. Oh, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah. What happened? Hey, Muggs? you know what? Normally, Mugs has nothing in, for yeah. pre-show. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. get into it, Mugs. What, what do you got? That's not true, by the way, Dave. I, I sometimes have things. Yeah. 
Uh, wait, 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 wait. Well, Muggs, Muggs. For, first of all, Dave and Gabor, let me tell you how Muggs started off his day. He started yeah. off by oh. raging at K Rock because the engineers, uh, we upgraded to this thing called Wide Orbit 5.0, which is supposed to sit, me, not make, 5.0. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's supposed Jeez. to make our lives so much easier, but the engineers forgot to tell us, hey, arrive like 10 minutes early because you're going to have to <laughs> log into this using your own credentials, not. The way it's set up right now, we just show up and it's there. Dude, nobody got the word out. And Muggs, <laughs> take it from there. What happened? What happened, dude? So I get there when I get there, which is 5.59, one minute before we have to go on air. Which is fair right because, on. listen, everything is on autopilot. Muggs really yep. doesn't yeah. need to be yeah. there till like, you know, exactly. 6.05 or whatever, you know, after when they go live. Yeah. And actually, you know, usually <clears throat> I'm... What I was going to say was, sorry, I'm high, first of all. I had to get high <laughs> yeah. before this. What else is new, uh, dude? Come on. Uh, uh, yeah. Good. Uh, what is. I was going to say was, is at the beginning, I used to get there earlier just to learn it. But now, it's good. All right. Omar already covered that. Thank you. <laughs> Fast Klein, forward to the bad stuff. Okay, Klein w was sitting there, and there was no screen showing anything. It looked like a home screen on a computer. For a multi-million dollar radio it station. It didn't look like and a home hear, screen for a computer. It was the home screen for the computer. It was the home <laughs> screen for the computer. For a multi-million dollar radio station when a morning show is supposed to go on in a number two market and four other markets. Dave, it was the weirdest, bizarre scene ever because you're, he's not kidding. You know uh, the little window screen with the screensaver or whatever it is? It's usually some sort of yeah. landscape. That yeah. is happening at K Rock at a major radio station, and we 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 both like when I entered, I freaked out too, and I was just yeah. like, "What is happening?" Yeah, it was the most uh, discombobulating thing ever, for sure. And the Look, craziest guys, thing about it, I'm the audio shocked. was still playing, so it wasn't yeah. dead air. The audio was playing, but you're not seeing any. You yeah. have, so you have to sign in. So I go over to try to find an, an engineer or an IT guy. Be like, Hell, "Yeah, we need to sign on here." Uh, and okay, I'm gonna speed one this of up the, because you're taking forever. Dude. God, damn. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, so, Muggs, ahead, Omar. so, so, Muggs, away. so, Muggs starts looking for engineer. No, this engineers. is a long form podcast, by the way. We're not on the air, so but go ahead, <laughs> listen. Um, but okay, so, 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 Muggles is looking for an engineer, and the guy's name is Dave Dart. Okay, and this guy is one of these engineers. Oh, we're calling him out. Are we calling him out? We're, we're really calling him out. I wasn't gonna say his name, Omar. Why do we have to call him out? I'm not calling him out on anything because he's just doing what engineers do. He didn't do it. In my opinion, okay. he didn't do anything wrong, Muggs. I don't know why you were. Mm. Muggs was unfairly uh, upset at Dave Dart. Mm. He was. Mm. Oh, here he goes. Oh, not oh, what I found out. Oh, shit. Not get Dave Dart on the phone. Oh. Come on. Let's oh, get him on okay. the phone. Not, not after what I found out, Omar. Oh, uh, okay. So you're yeah. going to add to the story. So let me let me finish telling the story, and then okay. you could add your little two cents because uh, <laughs> then maybe I'll just go, go back and bleep his name if I need to, okay? That'll solve the issue, okay? So Dave Dart uh, uh, actually came to my studio because I was there uh, at around 540. He's like, hey, man, just so you know, we didn't upgrade the studio. Playlist letters not working. However, we're waiting on Muggs to get there uh, so we, he could sign on using his credentials. OK, mind you, at this point, Muggs doesn't, doesn't even know. Nobody contacted us to let us know that we needed to be there early. OK, so Muggs gets there. He's freaking out and he's looking for Dave Dart. And Dave Dart's one of these engineers who is in no rush by any means. He's in a, he's got that engineer <laughs> brain, right, where he has to take the information, process it, and then he's going to decide what to do. And you, I mean, this guy's a smart guy, right? It's not like he's dumb, but he needs to take his time. He's not like like us trying to do a live show you know time is of the essence for mugs and i and klein and the whole show i mean we're about to go live and by the way we at this at this point it's like 603 we're into like the song and going into stop sets stop sets with no content on the air tripping like uh, uh weird ass commercials in san francisco and kc in dallas <laughs> just off the rails okay so uh pam at the wave is starting her shift so dave decides to go over there and help pam out okay so this is uh, this is where mugs enters and talks to Dave Dart and you know he's trying to you know emphasize hey man time of is, is of the essence Dave Dart says hey dude go look at me uh, go try to find Michelle she can help you out so Dave so pick it up from there Mux so it was more like let me uh, I was like uh, Dave we got to get a show on in four stations and I, I don't know he's like well I'm sorry I was like uh, sorry what okay he's like go find Michelle 
Uh, you know, or he's like, you know where Oz and Wayne used to sit? We're gonna have to bleep those too. Uh, go, go find Michelle. <laughs> Why? It'll work so, uh, yeah. so I go, okay, <laughs> yeah. I uh, so I'm yelling, Michelle. He's yelling down the hall, Michelle! dude. Just, just that loudly too. It was insane. Like, yeah, like yeah. Li- literally, like I was uh, stranded on a a boat out in the middle of the ocean yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. get Michelle's attention. Everybody in everybody at, in that building heard that, dude. It was crazy yeah, loud. So, yeah. So, so, so I go Except over Michelle. to Michelle. <laughs> Except so I go Michelle, over to Michelle, yeah. and, and I. <laughs> so I hear I hear a faint. I hear a faint. Yeah. So I go over. Michelle is the most she, soft-spoken person. Ever. She sees like the look of panic on my face, and I go, "I need your help." She goes, "What's going on?" I go, "We're not on the. Oh, well, we can't. We don't have access to our to our system, and it's just playing commercials and songs. That's it. And we got to yeah. go on the air." And she's like, "Uh." And so she comes in, and then she kind of looks at the board and the screen. And then 20 minutes later, after we're supposed to go on air, Dave finally comes in and sets everything up. Now, here's the kicker of all of it. This, this is, We're really talking inside baseball here. Mm-hmm. Uh, an email goes out at 7.50 by personnel that says, FYI, uh, you're, um, <laughs> you're going to need to come in 30 minutes uh, early to set up your screen. Right. Problem is, I get there 6 a.m., the email. No, no, it's no, like, Bugs, but you know why they sent out that email is because of what happened with you. It's it's To like cover they, their asses? No, not to cover their asses, just because they didn't have the foresight for that. Now they're like, okay, we don't want the situation to happen with the other jocks that happened with Mugs, so they just decided to send that email out, okay? So, so and Mugs, I'm, the asshole, I'm the asshole who gets paid part-time over there. <laughs> but, uh, uh, like hey, Gabor, asses. have you ever done Xanax and Adderall at the same time? Because no, but but I was, in a, I was in a comment here that uh, Omar, you're like the Viagra for this story because you yeah. really reinvigorated Muggos yeah. to finish off. Yeah, right. So. Thank you, thank you. That, yeah. yeah, that's what yeah. I'm trying to do. Thank you. Say, that's what it feels like right now. We got like two <laughs> entities fighting for control. So uh, so so Muggs, <laughs> uh, what happened yeah. uh, with, with with Dave Wright? What new information do you have? What 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 came to light? Well, apparently there was a communication breakdown. Now I don't know that much, but. The email that was sent out by Dave Dart mm. uh, was the one that went out at 7.50 a.m. Right. So. I just told you, you know, why, that, why he sent that out. Yeah. It, it's just like, <laughs> come on, guys. Was, what, 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 was, that the, was that the bit of information you had? I mean, come on. Like, like. Yeah, he I just, mean, but well, whose no, fault he, is it? It is nobody's. <laughs> whose fault it, it, is it? It, it, it? Dude, things just happen, Mugs. Like, this is the thing with Mugs, is that I think he wants to put... There, nobody put the blame on you, Mugs. It's not your fault. It's no not one Clyde's put the fault. blame on me. And it's not, but you it's, know what? It, you if know I what? were to do that... Hold on. If I were to do that, if I were to be like, I'm in charge of a multi-million dollar radio station <laughs> with several markets, and, tra- and now there's going to be traffic and money issues, and I just forgot to tell the people to come in when they were supposed to come in, and all this shit happens... Oh well. Oh no! Whose head, who's head do you want, Mugs? Who's head do you want? I would get fired. I would get fired. That's who, what I'm saying. Who, who's the culprit? Whose head? I don't do you want, want anybody's to take head. It's just yeah, there's I so mean, many. Spill the tea, just, man. The, the who do you happen. want gone? Things just who do you happen. want gone? We're probably now that I think about it, we're probably gonna have to it, edit this whole entire thing out from the video <laughs> and the podcast. No, why? This, there's no. There's no. Because there's no we can't to. be talked. Yes, well, I can. No, because uh, because because honestly, <laughs> I personally really like Dave Dart. I think he's he was cool as a cucumber. I the, love the, Dave, the guy. The guy who lost his ass was Mugs. Yeah, but I didn't. Shocker. I mean, yes, you did. You lost your shit. But but <laughs> here's the thing. My were, defense. You were, there is no defense. You shouldn't have lost your yeah, shit. There is a defense if you let me say it, okay, Omar. Okay. Uh, I didn't go off towards anybody. I was just going off in yeah, general. Yeah, and you made everybody around you all like walking on eggshells. You're like, oh, man, what's going on with mugs? You don't do that in a professional environment, I think. Let's in put it in this In my way. opinion. He really was it- like freaking out. Like, God damn it. The show is fucked. Oh, man, I, we're going to have a hell, hell, hell of a day. How do you think <laughs> that makes Ali and Klein feel when they have to go on live and be happy okay. and, and okay. You know, put on a good show? Okay, also in my defense, who does it fall on when shit's fucked up like that? True. Who does it fall on? What are you talking about? Not you. Who would it fall on? Who did it fall on? It didn't fall on anybody. Who would it fall on? Who, who, what do you mean? I don't know would what Would it mean. fall on the guy that makes the most money or the guy that makes the least money? Who would it fall on? I don't understand your question. Who would, what, what would fall on? The blame? 
Yes. If somebody were to own up to this, it it would it would have to be Dave Dart. He he it would I think it was he would be like, hey man, you know I probably should have sent an email, you know, and you know you to get you in earlier or whatever, you know. Okay. I mean? The so. reason that I'm pissed off Omar is because as much as I love Dave, he never said he he, he it was kind of like. Whoops! Oh well. Like I know and, you got to move on. It's live radio, baby. What do you want from him? Like, he, but it's you want not. Him, it's you, do, you, do you want him to get on his knees and say, "Muggos, I'm so so sorry." No, you that's. Sound, what, but you got to just get over it, dude. It happened. Get over it. You I sound mean, like one of those like Hollywood producers. It's live <laughs> yeah, radio, yeah, I baby. Know, I know, but you know what I mean. I mean, I think that was the intent. But, but, but yeah. That, yeah, but that's I don't the, that's, know, man. That, that's the thing. You can't dwell on it, especially in live radio. You just got to move on. I think on. I it just happened. have a lot of PTSD uh, with just how things are handled around there. Right. So I don't know. All right, Mr. Sanchez. Question. Yeah. Dave, you have your finger up. Yes. Uh, Muggs, how hungover were you this morning? <laughs> you want to hear something hilarious? He, yeah. Not hungover I'm at waiting. all. I'm uh, waiting. Not hungover really? at all. I, I saw him. Zero. I, I saw him for his thing. He looked fine. Uh, Gabor, yes? I, I, think, I think we have to recognize the elephant in the room here, and oh. that's the fact that your jankiness is starting to rub off oh, no. in the workplace. <laughs> oh, no. I do. Yeah. Hey, by the way, that, that is no lie. No lie. No lie. Okay, uh, Muggs, uh, you have, you had a, it sounds like you had a hell of a day. So what led to you being late to the uh, recording session of the janky? So, well, I, on the way home from work today, I got a speeding ticket. Oh, my God. No. How fast were you going? Time to get Sweet James on. The phone. <laughs> Sweet James doesn't get you out of speeding tickets, Dave. He gets, injury, you, he gets you. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're injured. I'm gonna injure Muggs and, and, and get him on the phone. Uh, <laughs> it was it was on the freeway and it was uh, I was doing an unsafe lane change as well, but he did not get me for that. I was doing 85. <laughs> 85 in a 25 chp chp bike. What's the sp- speed limit? 65, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, oh, dude. So that's pretty hefty. How much do you think that's gonna be? If you don't go to court, it'll be like 400. Three, probably like three hundred. Oh man, that's probably sucks. Like that. I'm sorry that dude. Yeah, sorry well, that. that's my own fault. But okay, that's my okay, own fault. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, people drive like assholes in L.A., and yeah. apparently, I was one of them today. Okay, so I get home <laughs> today. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> I get home punch anybody, dude, to, yeah. to do the podcast, <laughs> mm-hmm. and my microphone box, the focus right, isn't working. It's, it's not going in. I'm, I'm plugging it, unplugging oh, no. it, plugging it, unplugging it, plugging it, unplugging it. Damn. And I'm sitting here also trying to do that, and my, I try to sign on to my WhatsApp. That's what we communicate on. That yeah. wasn't working. Oh, man. Dude. On top of it, you guys, I have a sore fucking throat right now. Oh, I have a God. really sore throat. Oh, wait, is um, this, do you think you're getting sick again? No, this is from fucking Klein, oh, dude. Oh, it's still, it's still the same illness. Yeah. Muggs, you've yeah. been sick for like weeks now. Uh, dude, it's been like two weeks, dude. Wow. What happens what is, is happening I get better. You, dude? Oh. My mucus, the mucus and phlegm clear up, like oh, not fully, but like to a point where I'm like, oh, I feel better again. And then like at night, it like ramps back up. And Holy like crap. I start feeling like, I start feeling, I got COVID. I got a rapid COVID test. It's not COVID. Good. It's just a fucking sinus infection All right. that won't go away. And anyway, hi, hi, Gabor. Thank you for hanging out and listening. Oh, to, oh dude, that was uh, you know what? That uh, was a hell of a day, Muggles. Hell of a day, Bravo. hell of a day. Yeah. Well, thank you for it's making right. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna we have to edit that entire us. thing out. Thank you. No, guys. we're not editing that out, dude. That, that, that's we gotta bleep names. Why? Yeah, Dave. We gotta bleep names. The good Dave is here, Muggs. I got your back, bro. Oh, exactly. God, <laughs> the good beep. <laughs> oh my god! All right, uh, man, uh, that's a hell of a hell of a. Is that day, what, was that my opening story or what? Yeah, that was. That was. Hold on, let me type that onto the. Let me type that onto our uh, rundown <laughs> <Yeah>. sheet. Uh, <laughs> a, a muggles had a day. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, Gabor, how you doing, guys? buddy? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, muggles. It's a pleasure. It's nice uh, to meet I'm you, honored. man. I'm honored to be in the presence of such greatness here. This is this is what I live for. <laughs> Were you at any of our uh, Zoom hangouts? Uh, no, I, you, you do it uh, every time when I've got like a function with the kids, so oh, it's yeah. always tough. There's you know. the phone again. God damn it. It's just like I, I try to record a podcast. The phone rings. Mama Muggs is probably going to walk in in five minutes. I say, hope so. Did Where's you your eat your dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Mom, <laughs> meatloaf. <laughs> yeah. Get the phone. All right, well. Well, uh, so, look, it sounds like all you guys have, all you guys have kids. Yeah. And I, first of all, I got to give it up to you guys. I don't know how you guys are still alive 
you still have your hair for the most part, except for Muggos. Yeah, um, except for, that's why I'm wearing a hat. Y- yeah, like, you guys, I've been spending so much time with kids these past couple of weeks. Yeah. First, I spent, like, like, like a whole day with my nephew. Okay. And now I'm here with my friend in Vegas who has, like, a one-year-old. Mm-hmm. How do you guys survive just watching them walk? Uh, I have a wife. babies. So uh, <laughs> I don't really watch my kid, you know. Hey, uh, Kaz. Uh, you, you I know, an eye on but that? I, I'm, <laughs> yeah, but I'm not in charge of the kid, and yet he's walking by a, a, a like a table, and oh, my heart is like, right. I have anxiety. Oh, that you get over that gonna, real quick. No, yeah, it's no, been you, yeah. almost two no, weeks a, here, no, and I'm as a, still no, like as a parent, as a parent, you have yeah, to. you have exactly, you have to, you have to get over that it's, real quick, dude. If not, you would be like you, you would have anxiety all the time. The first, you know. the first time I witnessed my daughter injure herself, it was at K Rock, the old, the Venice one. Oh man! And Let's she see. was like, she was one, <laughs> she was one and a half years old, and she was. Uh, uh, in Studio R, right next to the on-air studio, and I was typing on the computer, and she's, like, holding onto my chair. It's when she first started walking, Dave, funny yeah. enough. And she fell. She kind of lost her balance, fell forward, face first, hit her forehead on, the, like, the leg of the computer chair, which is rounded. Holy I go, oh, my God. She starts crying. I pick her up. There is a dent in her forehead. Oh, oh man. And you should have seen me. It was worse than this morning uh, when, when K-Rock was <laughs> offline. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to go to the hospital. Oh, my God. And I, call, I called Nicole up. I'm like, Nicole. Oh, Nicole was there. I'm like, Nicole. Nicole. Oh, my God. We're going to have to take you to the hospital. And she's got a dent in her forehead. What's going on? Oh, man. And, like, then it cleared up. <laughs> Like you, uh, probably about two, out. three hours later, yeah, it kind of like popped back out. Well, hold on, uh, hold on. Hold I on. still took her. Hold on. I didn't two even or three up hours her. later. It was like an hour or two. How did you not take her to the hospital if you were that freaked out? You're just like, okay, because she calmed you because, down. Because she's like, because actually, uh, Nicole was the one to kind of calm me down. <laughs> like, what else? Everybody, everybody calming me down. That's what everybody does. You guys <laughs> calmed me down about this morning. <laughs> anyway. Uh, she then we kind of like obviously we we're like I was watching her to you know make sure there was no signs of concussions or anything and there wasn't and she was like normal and then the dent just like slowly came out after like about two I, hours. I'm Ooh, never gonna have out. kids, dude. I can't. It's not. I, I I can't. I can't. That anxiety of just them walking. Like my nephew was walking along a brick wall and I was like, please don't trip and fall into the wall because I'm going to take you, pick you up, take you to your parents. We're going to go to the no. hospital. You're going to be bleeding for your heads and it'll be chopped off because you're going to draw fall. Ugh, I can't do but it. Yeah. No like kids Omar for me. Said, That's it. Like Omar said, Dave, you totally, you get over, you get over that, that, that whole anxiety thing about your kid. And if they do hurt themselves, you're like, well, ah, they'll be all right. You know, you just, it's, it's an 1000%. Eight. It's so funny because like, yeah, Muggs is right. At first you kind of freak out, freak out. And then you're like, ah, dude, you, you, you'll be fine. <laughs> it's no big deal, yeah. you know? And, uh, wow. yeah, you get over that really quick. It's I think I, deal. I fell through a glass huh. table when I was like, a year and a half. Like, uh, remember those old. Um, that explains a lot. so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You remember those old, those old. Uh, thanks, Omar. Those old like uh, baby chairs that used to clip onto the table, like they oh, made yeah. them in like, the seventies and the eighties. Yeah. Well, I had one of those. Uh, being an eighties baby, uh-huh. it was clipped on. My good old mama mugs and papa mugs <laughs> clipped me onto the edge of this glass table, and the table just like after like ten minutes of it holding me, just went. Yeah. And uh, you shouldn't I, have been it, a fat it, baby, dude. Were you like uh, I, mean, I, was born, I was born eight pounds, 13 ounces. What do you want to do? Oh, Omar, wow. What do you want to do? Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I've nice. always been fat. Nice, yeah. dude. All right. So anyway. That's funny, It's good times. Dude. Kids yeah. are, kids are, but wow. kids are tough. Yeah, kids, kids are, are tough, Dave, but I, dude, I will say, man. They're malleable. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the um, experience uh, outweighs all that stuff. Like, like having yeah. them and all the good times outweigh the bad times, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Gabor, do you have any kids? I got an army. Three. Three. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have to make kids. Well, CEO, you say the good outweighs the bad, but when my friend has to stay in because we're about to go out and party, <laughs> that's the, the bad. I'm, I'm going to choose the other one. <laughs> oh, so, uh, right. yeah, you stay with your kid. We going out. All right. We get Who says you can't go out and party and leave your kid at home? That yeah. is true. No babysitter. Just stay on kid. <laughs> Check. Get the crap. Check. Get the crap. That's a Check. Check. We make your frown. Check. Go upside down. Check. It's getting janky. We the greatest pound for pound. What up, mugs? Check.
Jack, what up, Dave? Jack, what up, O? Jack, what up, James? Jack, what up, Muggs? Jack, what up, Dave? Jack, what up, O? Jack, what up, James? It's getting janky. It's getting janky. It's getting janky. I love it when we jank around. It's getting janky. It's getting janky. It's getting janky. I love it when we jank around. Janky! Town. That's right. This is Janky Town, episode number 58. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, if you guys ever want to email us, the email address is jankytown69 at gmail.com. And if you want to call us, that number is Ouch. janky855 <laughs> janky69. Uh, and uh, yeah, we want to get to a sesh of uh, jank line calls. And uh, for this episode, uh, Gabor is joining us uh, because he's a patron. And uh, one of the higher tier levels, uh, we offer the uh, patrons to sit in. So yeah, yeah. He's Isn't it, it the right highest tier? I, is I, it yeah, the highest tier? I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Fly he, on he's your a, he's a member play, of the highest tier, but play. the top two tiers uh, okay. get to uh, get the chance to sit in. Okay. So cool. So thank you for, for your patronage. Yeah, is man. Is that correct word? Yeah. Go and uh, we hope we're not too sucky today. Yeah, well, man. I'm, I'm proud to say it, man. Highest tier right here. Oh, dude, it. love it, man. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Thanks. Thank we you. appreciate it, man. Uh, so last episode, for some weird ass reason, I la- well, I labeled, we couldn't freaking figure it out. So I labeled the episode jizz master johnny because he was definitely the highlight of the episode right for yeah, some weird saying. ass reason uh, something got changed and jizz got taken off so on spotify and apple podcasts it was just labeled master johnny and i was just like master johnny what, <laughs> what's almost master worse johnny what kind of master right? like that's what i thought know? two months i thought the exact same thing okay. i'm like dude that's a Hi. terrible that's a terrible freaking uh uh uh, name for it, a title for an episode, right? <laughs> so I, I, I text Dave. I'm like, because I'm thinking maybe he didn't think Jizz Master Johnny, Johnny was funny. So because yeah. he's made some changes in the past, so I was like, hey, dude, why would you uh, take out Jizz? And Dave's like, I don't know. Well, what are you talking about? I, I didn't make any changes at all. I'm like, what? What the hell's happening? So then I go, <laughs> I, I go, I go, and I do a little bit of research, and the YouTube is is fine. So YouTube didn't do any changes, and then which I, shocks me, by the way. Yeah, because they, they, their uh, algorithm, they, they, they want to freaking be clean as F, right? So yeah. then I go to the Spotify's and the Apple podcast, and I'm thinking, well, they're not going to change anything because, you know, uh, uh, Spotify has songs with the F word and all that, and so does Apple Music. So that doesn't make sense to me. So then I go to Podbean, and that's the service that we use to upload the podcast. And for some reason... Podbean decides to take the word jizz. I don't know if like jizz is like not allowed to be labeled that. So I so I go and I say, all right, I'm gonna label it jizz uh, space space, and then I up try to update it. Doesn't want to update. Doesn't want to save. So I had to go back and put a little hyphen in between jizz <laughs> and master. So it's jizz hyphen master. You know Johnny now. But that was you know just bizarre. I think- you know, I think it doesn't do it, Omar, because I think it, it's like pornograph, pornography related. Does that make sense? Interesting. I, you know, I mean, if that is the case, it totally 100 percent makes makes sense. You know, so next time, maybe from put, uh, put yeah. uh, like semen, you semen master Johnny or Spooge a, master but Johnny. But it's not his name. It's, yeah. Yeah, but but those. I mean, I would put uh, jizz with two money signs, you know, like J I oh, money sign money sign. Yeah, yeah, because everything... it's the money shot. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> <You> stupid. <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, so I don't know, like you know, because I got a text from um, uh, Beer Mug 2.0. Garrett Bundy. Yeah. Garrett. He, yeah, he was like, hey, dude, did you guys get in some sort of trouble? Uh, and I was like, what are you talking about? He's uh, like, well, it used to be called your episode. Uh, we used to be called just Master Johnny. Now it's just Master Johnny. And I was like, well, that could be a little bit problematic. <laughs> I don't know, Master Johnny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, yes, so. master. Sounds, like a char- sounds like a character in a Quentin Tarantino movie. It does. It does. Oh, man. yeah. So, uh, yeah. which, you know, is on par for Omar. So, you know, since <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, it Tarantino. So if there was yeah. a, you know, a little bit of mix up <laughs> with your uh, Apple podcast or your Spotify or whatever, when you're listening to the episode that's the reason why i just wanted to give the heads up yeah by hey, the way take... lots of love oh, sorry, for Dave. officer uh jizz master johnny yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Uh, lots of love for him his storytelling that... was was better than ours so yeah. that yeah. photo dave that yeah. photo that you posted on the janky town uh socials that i didn't retweet 
or repost is a really <laughs> good okay. picture. It's a really good picture. Hey, it, it comes straight from the jizz master himself. Badass. So, what is that? Yeah, is, was that what he was in the military, blurt. or is that his like? Is that his it's, office? It's, his it's you know when they were gonna go rough up some people. So <laughs> no man. Funny, man, like or go find some more dead bodies to make jizz. I I, I don't know. Yeah. Wow. You so, know, but, but I, yeah, I ran across some audio. Uh, I, I find this extremely funny. Um, a couple of episodes ago, we were talking about Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis being on the Dax Shepard podcast, the armchair expert. And he was commenting that he didn't really shower his kids, right? So Ashton mm-hmm. Kutcher was doing some sort of live events um, at a football, a college football game, right? And it's he was called there. Game Day, yeah. Oh, a game. Oh, you know, you know yeah. where this is from? Yeah. Oh, okay. So he was ESPN doing... game day. It's before okay. college football games. They go and they pick the winners for the day and stuff like that. So okay. he was a special guest because his school was the was the marquee game, one of the marquee games of the okay of the day. So yeah. this this just totally I mean maybe laugh so funny because only in college are you going to get these people chanting. Take a shower, take a shower. Mind you, Ashton Kutcher is trying to plug some sort of charity that, that he's involved in, okay? <laughs> and, uh, and all the crowd is, take a shower. Here, listen to this. Uh, I'm working on a, a, a new charity project right now. It's called Outside Wine. Um, and the whole idea is, <laughs> at the end of the day, like we can look at the, the data. And, and, <laughs> and I also think that Ashton, so he, 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 exactly, he's like thrown he's off by it. He's so yeah. Yeah, see, I, I, I can't amazing. see the video, so I don't know if he's flustered, like laughing because yeah. he's laughing about it, yeah. or if it really got to him. I don't think he how takes lo- himself too seriously. I mean, that's the read I get on him, but I don't know. How, how long did that chant go on for? This is the only the only clip I saw, so uh, I, I just saw it really cool. Let's listen to it again. I'm working on a, a, a new charity project right now. It's called Outside Wine, um, and the whole idea is. It, it, at the end of the day, like we can look at the the data and it- <laughs> amazing, so funny, amazing. man! Oh my god, dude! I just got a kick out of that, dude. I found that was funny. <sighs> uh, Mr. Sanchez, yeah. you were you were kind of yes, com- coming at us a, l- a little hard after we recorded the last uh, episode because you were very unhappy with Muggs and I because I guess Muggs that, did two. Not- of- yeah, not not you, maybe not you, but something Muggs said okay. that really triggered me, and and you know. It's really now has become one of my pet peeves, right? Okay. Today uh, of like, all days, Dave, you really want to go at me? Uh, <laughs> it's not at <laughs> yeah, you dude, per se. It's just something you said, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just, it, Mugs, listen, it's not you personally. It's just something you said that okay. really like triggered me. And it's like, oh, this is one of my pet peeves right now. So you were telling the story of how you went to the Hell Omega tour. And we obviously know what's going on. And part of the reason why... Uh, this bothers me is because this is every social media post right now. Mug says, Mug says, he goes, yeah, this is my first concert since the pandemic. Yeah, it's a lot of people's first concerts in the pandemic. It's first everything since the pandemic. You don't have to say it. Just fucking say I went to a concert. No one cares that it's since the pandemic. Everybody knows. We, we're we all no, in this pandemic. No, no they We've don't. Been no, here. Dave. We've if gone. I were to stay, if, if I were to be in a, in a conversation with somebody and said, you know, this is my first concert. Like they'd be like, ever? Did no, they I wouldn't. have to elaborate. No, no say, not at all. No, since the say, pandemic. So that's why no. I say it in the first sentence, Dave. No, I need to go smoke no. another joint. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just say like, hey, this is my first concert in a while. Because you know why? We all know what's going in on. A while. Oh we yeah, we do. So this, you're making this it, is my okay. first concert. Oh, in okay. The year. Oh, all right, Dave. So we get the pandemic. It. The you don't have to say the pandemic. Wasn't I, this is was my it, first meal in a Dave. pandemic. I'm going to post about it. <laughs> Shut up. We all know we're in a pandemic. Stop it. And by the way, the pandemic's not over. We're still in it. So it's not your since the first it's in the pandemic. It's your first one in the pandemic. How about that? Use that fucking term. Wow. Jesus. <sighs> anyway, my therapist. Be a segment. <laughs> therapist don't don't have. for Dave to jump on but my muggos. I know, man. <laughs> yeah. The Anyways, therapist guys, that I don't have <laughs> told me to pick my battles, and that's what I'm going to do here. And right. I'm not gonna well, again, engage. I'm not mad at you. I'm I know. not mad I, at yeah, you. It's, right. it's not it's, you. Yeah, it's, it's just the fact peeve. that it's just a pet peeve of mine that people happen to be doing right now on social media, you know, it's funny in because, person. But I didn't do that it's, it's on funny social because media. Bitch, I just like, said it. Like, like, I know, but I, oh, yes, you're not listening. But like Muggs, for instance, you, you've been like, 
this is the first time I've gone out. Like, bitch, you've been to all these fucking dinners and shit. Stop saying this is my first time going out hey, during a pandemic. No. Not you, Bugs. Just people you know, in it's general. F- it's oh. funny, Dave, when you brought up this topic of uh, pet peeves because I started thinking yeah. about, man, do I really have any kind of pet peeves? And I think maybe in my late 20s to early 30s, I did have pet peeves because I needed things to be a certain way or whatever. But, like, now... I just ever like post pandemic since the pandemic uh, now. <laughs> um, I don't think <laughs> I have world. many. I couldn't think of one, to be honest with you. I, I couldn't think of really? one. Really? Yeah. I just like yeah. I, I always like let people be now it's just because it's so much work to be to have a pet peeve, I guess. Yeah. Listen, man, it, it's it's a it is a pet peeve of mine, but I'm not going to call people out. on it. You know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah, it just yeah. gets me in the inside. I'm just like, Ugh. right. Yeah. Well, you threw yeah, it out no to more. Her. Yeah. Gabor, do you have a pet peeve? Yeah, I think I think the the pandemic kind of exposed new pet peeves, and the biggest one is people that wear the mask underneath their nose, like they think they're oh, like they're yeah. Like nobody's yeah. noticing. Yeah, see, see, and that's exactly what I'm like. That's exactly how I feel. Like you're not gonna yell at the person every single time. Hey, asshole, wear it. It's not a fucking like a nose <laughs> condom. You know, wear it correctly. But it just you see and you go. Ugh. No, I just go. Ah, you're a dumbass, and move on with my exactly. life. Exactly. You know? yeah. yeah, but I I did ask the question to the janksters, and I got a, a list here, and I want to get your take on it. I want to get your guys' judgment on it. All right. All right. This one's from uh, Ms. Maria on Instagram. Loud sires. <sighs> oh. I, I, I feel her on that, dude. That's pretty annoying. That's pretty annoying because you know they're doing a loud sigh so somebody else could chime in. Like, are you okay? What are you going through? You know what I mean? It's like you know yeah. they're, they're doing it so people notice. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah. You know what All my right. pet peeve is? Oh, thank you, Mugs. Yes, please. What is yours? Waking up every day. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I, I got a that, good one. That is one. dark, Mugs. Jesus, dude. <laughs> Come on, Mugs. Don't do that. Bugs, don't we say that. We already have people asking about your mental Come health. Come on, Muggs. Don't do that anymore. Muggs, please don't do that anymore. Hey, look. My pet peeve is sweaty armpits. Look at that. Oh, my God. Dude, I got some sweaty-ass armpits. What is happening there? Oh, okay. my God. All right. All right. What else, Dave? All right. All right. How about Bookner19 on Instagram says, people who say supposedly instead of supposedly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I could see grammar, that, but, but I don't care. Grammar. Yeah, 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 exactly. All right. Uh, Summer Magic 87 on Instagram says burping during the podcast. A hundred percent. I agree. With you. That's not a pet peeve. That's freaking anger for me. Man. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy it. I, Damn find it, it. I wish I had I a burp right now. Yeah, me too. Yeah. What, uh, what about right. what about farting during the podcast? We did that. No, everyone, <laughs> every, everyone's cool with farting during the podcast, so we're okay in that one. Okay. Uh, Jim Gomez eight and Chef underscore Jeff Laura say wearing socks with sandals. Oh, I'm with them on that. Like, I don't even know what's a pet peeve. I just go uh, no. Ew. Um, you know what my pet peeve is? I, I've been Actually, really. Of that. <laughs> No, Omar, no. Yeah, well, just around the house or when I, when I if I have but socks no, no, on. No, that's not. Yeah, that's oh, not, not what they're talking about. They're I'm talking about out. out in public. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Out okay. in public. Okay, yeah. out in public. All right. No. Yeah, go, Muggs. Uh, <laughs> my pet peeve is Balenciaga billboards with Justin Bieber wearing these oversized baggy sweatpants tucked into his white tube socks. And they're going to charge $2,000 for that. Wow. Fuck Balenciaga. I don't care. Fuck them. Really? Okay. And if they want to become a sponsor, they're the best company ever. <laughs> they're the best company ever. All and right. How, in how what about world this do you one? see Balenciaga sponsoring <laughs> Janky Town? <laughs> oh, my God. I would love that. Just, you know, they could sponsor us. One shoe could last like a whole year, you know? Like, <laughs> um, all right. Uh, li- uh, listener 48 underscore media on Twitter says, when people talk during live sporting events. Ah, uh? okay. Not okay. I know what he's saying. Okay, and mugs, and mugs. You may think differently. It's when they're having full-on conversations in front of you, and they're not paying attention. They're not about. It's not about the game. It's I, nothing. I, it's about their I, kids, their dinner, whatever. What's going on after? So that's what he. I think I he agree. means when he says, you know, during. I agree, sporting but events. at the same time, if you let that affect you, you're you're a pussy. 
Wait. Like, just watch the game. Who gives a fuck what they're talking but about? Also, I know they're talking loud for people to hear, but just focus on the, like, let them do them, and you do you. But also, Cares. doesn't, Again, it, does, like, doesn't, it, doesn't yeah. it matter what sport it is, though? Because baseball, you could get away with that. On something yeah. that's like football, where there's action happening all the time, I don't think, I, I don't think you can no, do yeah, that No, yeah, if it's situation. like football or hockey, I'm with that. Yeah. If it's football or hockey, and you're like... I, I I can't believe the color of my house was red. I, I was gonna go purple with it. <laughs> yeah. But you know, I but but base. <clears throat> excuse me, my throat. Baseball. If you're, if I think you're like baseball, that happens all the time. I'm yeah. sitting I'm in front of people that are talking about whatever right. so loud, yeah. so that people hear them. But I just watch. Who cares? All right, all right. And then the last one uh, comes from you, average ho on Twitter. <laughs> people who are late to everything. Mugs. Well, you know what they say about people who relate to everything, right? They have a huge They're cock. <laughs> Other than that, oh, Omar, okay. I mean, come on. That they're they're genius, intelligent people. Really, no joke. <laughs> They're genius, intelligent people. Really, is that true? Look it up. You know what? Look I think I, I think I have heard that somewhere. You know, it's a clearly Look a it lie. Up. You know, uh, but uh, <laughs> hey, go, hey, it's, Gabor, written by, uh, it's written by people who are late. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hold on, hey, hey Gabor, what tier are you on on Janky Town? Oh, top level, man. Yeah, level. fly on your What's head. What's it called? Fly on your head. <laughs> You got a fly on your head. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for all your participation, everybody. Thanks, Omar. Uh, all right, man. Uh, uh, we have a couple of uh, Jank calls that uh, actually we're talking about the pet peeves. Uh, this first one is uh, Geometric Bananas. Hey, guys. It's Geometric Bananas. So I saw the tweet of, you know, what's your pet peeve? I actually have a, a, a little bit of misophonia. Misophonia, you know, it's a big word, but misophonia. basically it's just you have like this irrational reaction to when people make noises when they chew or, <laughs> you know, just oh, anything like that. So it is a miracle that I am even a such a huge fan because, you know, in the early beating days, you know, when Omar was just there munching on my apple, you know, his apple, like, his, you know, his date or something or mugs his when date? he would chew on those, those skittles is just, oh gosh, just the thought of it. But yeah, that's a pet peeve of mine. Uh, so yeah, just answering you guys' questions. Okay. <laughs> That's funny, but it sounds like uh, she has a medical condition. It's misophonia or whatever it's called. Misophonia. Misophonia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, so that's I, I think hate a it different. when you chew. <laughs> uh, oh, but uh, so uh, we got a call from Stryker in regards to the uh, pet peeves, but. I oh think, uh, yeah, but did. but uh, oh. Ted Stryker. Yeah, from Ted Stryker, from uh, you know, formerly Mr. Tuna on Toast. Mr. Tuna on Toast, yeah. He's Mr. Tuna on Toast with Stryker. Yeah, yeah, he's got a new podcast that's going to start up, I think, October 5th, if you want to check it out. It's uh, available everywhere. Just search uh, Ted Stryker or Tuna on Toast, and he, he – I don't know what he's talking about here. He, he's, he sounds a little confused. My favorite pet is Bonsai the dog. My <laughs> second favorite pet is a squirrel that lives outside. <laughs> My third favorite pet is a lizard that used to live outside. I recognized his tail. My fourth <laughs> – favorite pet was a trout I saw in a river in Idaho. My fifth <laughs> favorite pet is um, the dog from Fraser. His real name is Moose, by the way. His real name is Moose. His character name was Eddie. His son's name was Enzo. And the only characters that fought on Fraser were Enzo the dog and his dad, uh, real name Moose. Uh, you know, and because uh, uh, Moose, the dog, was getting old. Eddie, I'll just say his character name, was getting old, so they needed to bring in a replacement dog, and it was his son. And they had to spray paint the little dog. Those are my favorite pets. Huh. And then uh, he I called... I think he's confused, huh? Yeah, he, yeah, called, yeah, he confused. called back. He called back. I just reread your tweet. You want pet <laughs> peeve, not favorite pet. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's Stryker. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh God, dude. I love Stryker. Yeah, he's, he's the so best, funny. man. I miss that dude, dude. Like, I didn't really oh. get to know Stryker until I started doing the show with him, man. And, uh, yeah, he's a good, real good guy. Real good guy, man. Oh, man. <laughs> totally authentic 
nice guy. Like he doesn't fake it. Like like you know, from the outside, if you were looking in, you're like, man, that guy has like a dark side or something's off with that guy. No, that guy is just pure, 100 percent nice. He's just he's like that all the time. It's a little exhausting to be honest with you, and annoying. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh man. All right. Uh, did you guys see the uh, the new Matrix trailer? Joe yes. Did. What'd you guys yes. think? Yes. What'd it you guys was think? awesome. You liked it? Okay, it was awesome. I'm going to play a little clip here. Okay. Yeah. Thomas, you seem particularly triggered right now. Can you tell me what happened? I've had dreams that weren't just dreams. Am I crazy? <laughs> we don't use that word in here. If you want the truth, Neo, you're going to have to fly me. that matters to you is still here i know it's why you're still fighting and why you will never give up you don't know me no after all these years to be going back to where it all started back to the matrix it did kind of bring back, uh, you know, the goosebumps and the nostalgic feelings, man, of the old Matrix. And I, I was a pretty big fan of them. And uh, the, the problem with the trailer for me is that it was more of the same. It's too it, loud. There was no, there, I mean, it was <laughs> what? Very, it was very loud. Yeah, Can you yeah, turn down sure. the volume yeah. in the Matrix, please? <laughs> yeah. Um, no. Oh, I feel you. Uh, I thought the same thing where it's like, OK, so we're just going through the first Matrix again. And I'm sure. There, this time it's not Mr. Smith, it's that other dude, and it's not Morpheus, it's that guy, and yeah. you're like, okay, there's the white bunny again. But then again, I, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, all this ties into the first trilogy of The Matrix. Yeah. Uh, they talked about how like so many times it's happened where Neo kept going, going on and, and trying to be the one until yeah. this Neo actually prevailed. So I was like, ooh, this is just a teaser. I bet everything in this trailer is like in the first 20 minutes. You okay, know? yeah, D- hopefully. So, did, did, you hear, did you guys hear what uh, Keanu said about the trailer? No, we were actually going to call Keanu right now. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, we're going to call Keanu and uh, we're going to, you know, find out exactly. Because, listen, the one thing that I will say about the trailer is that Keanu is very Keanu in that trailer. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you can't get away with it. So, yeah, let's call let's call Keanu up and uh, wow, that's amazing. Let's see if he's uh, excited about it. Let's cool. see. All right, let's see. Hopefully he picks up. Let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to the movies. Oh. That's our whole music. I think. Uh, let's go to the <laughs> movies. Oh, there get he is. Ourself a treat. <laughs> hey, you reach my shell. Please leave a message. At the tone. Hey, Muggs. Record your message. <laughs> Hey, Muggs. You um, uh, you see, Wait, hold you see, on. You see in the yeah. schedule where it says, "Hey, uh, we're yes. gonna call. We're gonna." <laughs> you know uh, what's funny, call, Omar? Man. Hold on, Omar. You know what's funny? I, I did read the schedule, but I'm thinking, I'm really thinking here that you know, Keanu lives in a spotty cell area oh, okay. where I, I believe uh, they used to have a cell phone tower, yeah. which the residents I think uh, voted to take down. Yeah. So it's really hard for cell phone calls. Um, did you? I, I think uh, okay. uh, Keanu's publicist sent a different number. Uh, do you have that? You want me to send it to you? Uh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, send, <laughs> it, send, it, send it to me. Send it to me. Yeah, what yeah. is he talking uh, about? Yeah, send it to me. Yeah, because did, yeah. did his people didn't tell you that his his house is in a bad cell area. No, for sure. It's like, and he has a hard line, right? <laughs> yeah, he has a hard yeah, line. He has a hard line. A hard line. Hard oh, scene. my God. Yeah, so. Obviously, Dave Dart's fault. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> nice, Gabor. Nice, Gabor. Nice. nice. That's awesome. Oh, Very nice. Oh, I love oh, it. Man. Oh, man. Oh, my right. God. All Here right. we go. It is. Okay. Hold on, stand by. It's all good. Play that standby music. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Let's all go to the. I, I got time, guys. I'm Don't gonna, worry about it. All right. I'm going to get some more water. Hold on. I got to get more water. Hold okay, on. go get water, dude. I'm going to call Keanu. All right. All right, here we go. We're calling Keanu now. He'll pick up this time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's weird. <laughs> oh, let's, let's mute that. That's- I could have sworn I heard a phone. No, that's weird. That's uh, uh, yeah. don't mind that. Matrix. Don't mind that. Don't mind that. <laughs> I just saw someone grab a phone too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Come on now. Oh, here. What? <laughs> what? No, it's the Matrix. It's a, <laughs> it's, dude, we're no, going dude, into the we're Matrix. going into the Matrix. The Matrix picked up. Oh, dude. It just sounds like a modem, though. <laughs> it really does. All right, well, let's try it again. Oh, my God. Uh, what is happening here? Gabor, what do you think? How, how do you think it's going so far, Gabor? Oh, smooth operation. <laughs> right. Wait, Gabor, do we continue with this bit or just no. go? Oh, come oh, no. on! Keep going. Now it's busy? What the <laughs> shit? What? Keep going, keep All going. Right, hold on, now, now. We're committed to this bit now, dude. All right. God, Muggs is so stoned. He's probably talking to us right now because he's so stoned. Well, come on, Take dude. The you know the pill, payoff man. isn't going to be worth it. All right, hold on, here we go. Look at him. No, of Look course it's not. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Hello. Bugs, wake up. Is Neil? <laughs> hey, uh, hey, uh, is this Keanu Reeves? Whoa. Hey, um, hey, what was that name of that terrible band you had? It was called like Dogmouth or something. What's wrong with my band? No, no, I'm just saying. Uh, do, what was the? It had a weird title. Do you remember the title of your band you were in? I don't know, Omar. You tell me. Whoa, how do you know my name? <laughs> In the Matrix, I know everyone's name. Wow, dude, that's crazy. So so this is, are, are we talking to Keanu or are we talking to um, Neo? Or Tommy. Who the fuck is Tommy? <laughs> yeah, who's Tommy? <laughs> who's Tommy? The new guy. It's the, it's his new name in oh. in the Matrix. Oh, I missed that part totally. <laughs> Did you guys fucking pay attention? <sighs> hey, hey, okay, so hey, uh, Whoa. uh Keanu, how uh, how do you feel this new movie Matrix Matrix Resurrections is going to be received? <clears throat> uh, is there any kind of insight or what? how do you feel about it, man? All I know is that Doogie Howser <laughs> is in the beginning part of the trailer. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That he, that he is. Uh, how, how was it? How was it working with uh, Mr. Neil Patrick How uh, Harris, NPH? For a gay dude, he's got a humongous <laughs> cock. What? Uh, what? Does that even mean? what does being gay have, in, have to do with having a, some, a huge bone? Uh, you know, uh, cock. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. Okay. <laughs> just, yeah, that's, uh, uh. Hey, uh, can you, uh, uh, you know, uh, the trailer really didn't give us a lot of information, dude. Is, are there any kind of like, you know, uh, 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 is that is that you laughing, Keanu? Are you laughing at me? Come on, Keanu. It, this bit's yeah. crashing. It's the guy they hired to play Morpheus. <laughs> what? Oh, um, oh uh, Lawrence Fishburne isn't in the movie anymore? They hired somebody else? You are correct. So you, so you don't get along with the new actor? Or what's, what's going on, dude? Well, <laughs> for... <laughs> oh, were you going to say for a black guy? He has a huge cock. Is that where you were going? Is that where you're going, Muggs? You bastard. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. How did you know that, Omar? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Keanu, you're by all accounts the nicest guy in Hollywood. You donate to charity. You've given like a percentage out of your proceeds uh, from the Matrix to the people that worked on the movies. How are you such a nice guy? And, you know, uh, usually success in Hollywood leads to people being giant a-holes, but you're generally, uh, you know, a nice guy. How do you keep that attitude? Thank you, Omar. I just like riding the subway. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, uh, do you, okay. What, what do you what do you eat on the subway? Either the red pill <laughs> or the blue pill. Nice. nice. <laughs> All right, uh, Keanu. Uh, um, uh, uh, go ahead and uh, redial into the IPDTL because we <laughs> lost you, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll talk to you uh, soon, dude. Thanks for hopping on the phone with us. In the Matrix, <laughs> you never get dropped from the IPDTL. Uh, oh, man, I know. I mean, we have to get into the Matrix somehow. All right. One day, one day we'll make it into the Matrix, Neo or Keanu, whoever you are. I'm Dave Dart. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, Dave. Uh, see, oh, that's funny. Oh man, dude, there, there it is, dude. We we talked to Keanu slash uh, Tony slash or Tommy slash uh, Dave Dark, whatever his name is. Who cares? Oh God, oh, Stan, no, we're gonna want a podcast. Oh hell for that yeah, one. we are. Oh my uh, God, dude. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna talk to uh, Muggles because. Uh, Mugs, dude, you missed it. We had Keanu on the phone, man, and we we got this. We called and uh, we actually heard this weird uh, modem sound effect, and it felt like we were in the Matrix, man. You missed it all. Oh, I think your mic is down, Mugs. Mugs <laughs> the Matrix. Are you? No, it's still down. We can't hear you, dude. What's happening here? All right, try it again. Nope, 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 nope. The podcast works better this way. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, Mike, 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 I'm, 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 I'm going to kick IPDTL? you out and uh, read out one more time, please. Here we go. Uh, that sometimes does the <laughs> trick there. So, uh, all right. Let's see. I'll let it post. Is, <laughs> is, is this what you were hoping you would see? <laughs> All right, he got. He's in another channel, so he's there. Hello. For sure now. There you go. There hey, dude. he is. Uh, we uh, we just talked to Keanu Reeves, man. What? It, how did that go? Not well. <laughs> 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 yeah, right, I hear man. he's low energy. Yeah, dude, he's very yeah, low energy, yeah, but like high energy yeah, at the same time. It, it sounds like he's stoned, but whatever, dude. Hey, you know, <laughs> I, 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 he had a bad day. We could say, we could, you know, at least we could say that we had the great Keanu Reeves on Janky Town. So absolutely, uh, yeah, I can't. Sure. How do you pull that caliber of a guest? I hear he's a nice guy. He I hear is, he likes he riding the subway. He does. He does, and he <laughs> yeah. he uh, takes the red pill or the blue pill on the subway, which is. Uh, <laughs> You know, cool, he does that on the subway. Yeah, it's really, really, really yeah. weird, man. <laughs> really weird. Yeah. So, well, okay, uh, Dave, uh, you're gonna have some uh, what the f news for us here. Yeah, let's get to the intro. Let's get. I wish I had it queued up, but uh, I don't know where it's at. <laughs> so, go ahead and just start. And if I find it, I'll play it. All right. And in in this seat in this episode of what the fuck news a uh, rapper dancer gets gold chain surgically implanted into his scalp now who's dancer you may <laughs> ask news there it is <laughs> uh, mexican <laughs> rapper <laughs> dancer has gotten some golden chain surgically implanted into his scalp in videos he uploaded to his tiktok account and you can see him playing with his golden hairdo what now can you imagine heck? Like and and if you get, have you guys seen the pictures of this guy? I did, I did see it. I saw it on Twitter today. It did not, yeah, it did not look real. But like, can you imagine that shit just banging all over your head, like your head banging or right? I imagine just, your like, scalp being sore yeah. as balls all the time for all the movement. But I, I guess it might get used to it. But man, that that look that just seems painful to me and not a good look. I, I didn't I didn't focus in how much. Like I don't know, are they connected to I the little know. like? Maybe like little, little hair he, follicles he have, or something? Yeah, like, does he have them implanted, like the little uh, chain hooks? It did, I didn't see any hair, but I, 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 yeah. was, I didn't zoom in on it for sure. But that's weird. Yeah, F that guy. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's wow. his motivation for his new quasi hairstyle, you might ask? He says, the truth is I want to do something different because I see ev that everyone dyes their hair. Now I hope everyone won't copy me now. Oh, God. How do we know it's surgically implanted? I don't. So a dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Total dumbass. All right, you hear guys. A song? He has a song. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is this? What is what is this song called? <laughs> it's called Oro. Oh, I thought you had like a like a <laughs> oh Oro like gold in Spanish. All right. Um, hold on, hold on. You got a fly on your head. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, I thought, it, yeah. Never mind. We can play a clip. We can play a clip if we wanted, but yeah, it's we don't have to. We don't have to highlight oh, this city. If we have a clip, I would love to hear a clip. Well, we don't. So. Oh, okay. What? what, what what's <laughs> happening? What's happening here? I thought you were gonna add lip something, mugs. What? What was? What was that about? For real? Come on. What was that about? I thought you were gonna add lip something. What happened? I just really honestly wanted to find out if you heard his song. That's no. all. Like, just like. <laughs> Oh my Guys, god. Guys, no. No no, no. no, 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 no. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, All right, no, moving no. on. Uh, <laughs> I want this story to be real, right? Okay. Have you guys ever thought about how what you want to do with your bodies when you die? Um, uh, mugs. Hmm. 
I really don't care. I, I, yeah. I mean, I don't uh, want you to think about it right now. Because if you haven't thought okay. about it, no. The answer is no. You have not thought no. about it, right? So, no. and, and oh, you don't care. I thought you about know, it. I, I don't think, care. Yeah, Gabor, do you have something in your will that says, hey, you know, cremate me? recycle or, me. Recycle you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, totally. I, 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 I'm, I'm looking into becoming a tree. Like, becoming a tree sounds dope, uh-huh. right? Well, uh, Stuart Mitchell passed away. Unfortunately, he took his own life. And uh, he, had, he was a big music fan. And he bought tickets to Creamfields, which is a big festival in the UK. Oh, I've been wanting to so go his to that dad's, forever, yeah. Yeah, his dad sold his tickets to these guys, these cousins. And uh, then he sent him a letter that said, Hi, Liam. That's the guy who bought his tickets. Uh, firstly, many thanks for buying Stewart's tickets. I posted this separately in case it was, it was messed with the postage of the tickets. This is a little of my son, Stuart Ashes. I would be most grateful if you were able to scatter them somewhere at Creamsfield oh, so wow. that he was truly there one last time. Dude. And he includes a little piece of the ashes, right? Now, the guys took, uh, took the ashes and we're going we're gonna to spread them all over the, the, the grounds. Uh-oh. They made this whole uh, banner with his, like, this last dance is for you, mate. And it's uh-huh. really cool. Uh, they didn't even know this guy. And they're going to take him. Now, you may be thinking, <laughs> what the fuck? What's, what's going on? Yeah. The, the, the promoters got in touch with them, got the ashes, and put the ashes in a confetti cannon during DJ Tiesto's set. And boom! So there is dead guy over He's everybody? He's partying at Creamsfield! Oh boom. my god, dude. Oh. Doom, 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 doom. That's pretty <laughs> rad. That's pretty rad, dude. That's now, guys, cool. this story is from the BBC, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and I was like, this, this is legit, but I don't buy it. Do you, do, you, do you guys think that they're really shooting dead no ashes no into a crowd of people during COVID, mind you? Why? Yeah. It's just ashes. It's, it's sterile. But it's, dude, dead person ashes on you? No. I don't know, man. Well, I don't know. I think who has control of the confetti can? I mean, because the if, promoters. You know, the, the, yeah, the, of course the, they the can TMs, do the managers of Tiesto. Yeah. You know? So you buy it. it. Hmm. You're, you're buying the, the make, story. Do you think just to make it up just to get Well, to get publicity. publicity. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I mean, dude, this story is from the BBC. Like, it's, yeah, it's a it's legit crazy. news organization for yeah. sure. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm sure they did their due, due, due diligence. But I mean, yeah, I don't Look, know. Maybe Muggs is right. Maybe it is sterile. And it's just another piece of confetti that goes up in the air, it's just ash. in your mouth. Yeah. And well, now Stewart yeah, is with all these people. Regardless if the story is true or not, that's a badass story, dude. You know, that's a <laughs> cool story. I mean, this guy who wanted to go to Creamfields and. Tiesto, arguably one of the biggest DJs in the world, and you know he gets yeah. put in the confetti cannons, and then yeah, boom! That's that's pretty awesome. I love that. I love that. So cool, yeah. man. And then and then Dead Mouse came on and snorted a line on stage with his ashes. <laughs> yeah. No. He didn't. Yeah. Well, that was some what the fuck news. Yeah, man. All right. So uh, Gabor, we want to close out this episode with with, with the game. Uh, do you remember Total Recall? No, uh, you bring me up to speed. So Total Recall is a game that we used to play. <laughs> That's what I said too, dude. It's a little it's, feel bad. Uh, uh, it's uh, uh, we would give you a genre of of something like, uh, hey, name five um, brands of cereal or something or whatever, and you have to do it within okay, ten seconds. Don't ask right? that question. Oh. <laughs> <Eat in> the... <laughs> you know, so, uh, so 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 and also you know we figured the you know the recall election was um yesterday so hey we wanted to tie it in so we want we, we, so basically that's how it's gonna, gonna 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 go and i think uh dave wrote questions for you and me right dave is mugs in the play yes okay cool uh you know what i thought about it and it'll be better if it was just two people so okay it would be between omar and gabor all right here we go i want to play recall that's the game that we play if you want tickets to nothing else Myself on the back very often, but for that one, 
I give myself some props. I like that one. <laughs> Good job, Omar. Nice. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, as Omar mentioned, uh, California just went through a recall election for the governor, which, you know, failed miserably. Everybody said uh, no on the recall. So uh, Governor Newsom is still going to be the governor for the next year or so. Um, so that got me thinking, how about some California facts, right? Things in California, that's what we're going to recall today. Okay. So who's going to go first, Gabor or Omar? How does this work? I, I forgot. It's, it's, I haven't played this in years. It's uh, Gabor's uh, choice. If he wants to go first. I... Uh, no, I want Omar to, to okay. go first All at right. the pace. Okay. All right, Omar. I, just so you know, <sighs> I tend to do horrible at these type of games. I'm terrible at terrible at lyrics. <laughs> I'm terrible at quick recall. Terrible. Hold on, but hold on real quick. Uh, some behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh, do you have a timer? Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, how do we go ding ding or or like eh, am I just gonna thumbs up or um, no just go ding know. ding or go eh, just like that <laughs> I, I'll do I'm pretty sure you guys can get them so I'll just go eh, if one's wrong right? okay okay all right all right back to you all right Omar <laughs> since California has a bear on its flag yeah can you name five types of bears okay go uh, polar bear black bear ding. panda yep. bear um. Mm -hmm. uh, there is uh did i say black bear ready uh yes, you did. crap <laughs> oh no you couldn't how many, how many did i get uh, three? three you got three okay okay got yeah three. okay uh so there's the there's also the moon bears which are the asiatic black bears which they're also called moon bears but it's a different type of black bear okay uh the brown bears which include the grizzly bears brown bear uh, you, dumbass yeah uh. you mentioned giant pandas yeah there's the north american black bears which uh, which you mentioned yeah. polar Akawula. bears mm -hmm. yeah Koala is not a bear, you dumbass. Uh, sloth bears. Sloth bear. And speckled, spectacled bears. What is a and koala? Sun bears. Not a koala. No koala bears. They are not koala. Mugs is so mugs. stoned. If you, he's so stoned right now. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. He's so stoned. I love it. All right. Uh, you said all right. koala. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Moon bear. Gabor, it's your turn. All Just right. Stuff up. Oh. What? Hey, pick up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. All right. All right, All right Gabor. Uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers always sing about California. But what I'm going to ask you is, can you name five songs and the artist with California in the title? Go. Californication. California Dreaming. Nope. One. California Girls. Yep. Two. Uh... Uh, How can you not get Cal Dave Dart? <laughs> got California Love, California Love, Hotel California, California. Dreaming, Hotel California, and Danny California. Oh, but we tied up. Other three, ones three. That, that that you mentioned. No, both of you are O and O, zero and zero. Well, yeah. No, <laughs> no, they each got three in their. Oh no, wait. Yeah, Did but it doesn't two? count because they didn't. They didn't get the. You failed. You failed at naming five things. No, that's not how the so, game played. No, it's whoever, whoever. The, yes, it is. It's no, whoever got the most. The most. Dave, you have the no. most. You have the most terrible memory, dude. Dave. Trust us. It's whoever. No, it's it whoever it. gets the yes. most. I, on the air, so, Dave. Well, there a tie is. Oh my god. No, you no, are wrong. Oh Listen, I know I have a terrible memory, but it was it was either yes or oh, no I answer. Can't wait like, till we, I can't oh wait till we can't wait till Omar, I can't wait till we play. It was either a, you a got it right or you got week. it wrong. That was Ooh. it. No. There was no like it's let's however count it many up. you got yes. in the ten seconds. Yes, Dave, that's how it was <sighs> no, played. You dumbasses. Because we would play with multiple contestants and if you got it right, then you you would stay on hold and if you got it wrong, we would hang up on you. That's how we played the game. I don't think but since so. we're going one and one, you just at the you beginning both are at, at the zero. beginning of this bit, Dave, you just said, "I don't remember how that game was really played." And now you're defending like, "Yo, I remember all the details, man." I do. It all comes it all comes back. Exactly. All right. You know what yeah. my pet peeve is? People who say they don't remember how the game is played and then 10 minutes later they are dead <laughs> adamant on knowing every single well, rule. Well, I can't wait till everybody proves me right cuz remember, guys, I'm always right. <laughs> all right um, we'll see. I mean, all right, we'll hear about this it for one, sure. The, this is zero zero, and this one is for Omar. Okay. And this one's perfect for Omar. Okay. Can you name five professional sports franchise in California? Go. Uh, Angels, Dodgers, Lakers, Clippers, Kings. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Sportsmar. 
Uh, I don't know. Oh, there's the Sacramento Kings too, huh? <laughs> yes. And you know yeah. what? It, to be specific about the rules, it was however many you got in the time. So Omar got five in like four seconds. Mm-hmm. So that would God be. Damn it, Muggs. You're, that was the tiebreaker. Wow. God, it's all coming back to me now. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> shut up. All right. Omar's on the board with one. All right. All right. <laughs> Gabor. Oh, man. No pressure. There are a lot of ways to get around in Southern California, and California, mostly in Southern California as well. Can you name five interstates in Southern California? Go. 5, 405, 110, 105, 134. Yep. Nope. 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 Uh -uh. Nope. Keep going. Come on. 65, 605. Yes. 91. You got oh, it. You got it. Oh, you got five. It, are you doing because, because interstates? Be, because there's a difference between a freeway and an interstate, right? Oh, Correct. Yeah. yeah. The 134 is a is a route. It, it's considered it. a route. Oh, route okay. 134. Got it. Yes. But wow. he did get a right. 605, 405, uh, 110, and the five. five. But I, I, I but feel the, like that timer 101 is not an interstate. Out. Yeah. <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah. But there is also the eight, seven, ten, two, two, fifteen. The 110, the 40, so you could travel all along Southern California. All right. All right. The score is 1-1. One, one. Okay. Actually, Muggs, you should keep score since, you know, yeah, you're so busy here. He's stoned. He's stoned. <laughs> cool. All right. <laughs> all right. We're, uh, we only got three questions left, so okay. <laughs> best out of three. All right. All right. Omar. Yeah. California is known for its fine dining. Can you name five fast food burger joints in 10 seconds? Go. Uh, the Habit, Tommy's, um, Hamburger Hamlet, um, Baker's, In and Out. Yeah, that's five. Okay. The Hamburger Hamlet's not a fast food joint; it's a restaurant. Ooh, the, the I don't know. The judges uh, is that? No. Do I get disqualified for that one? No. Judge, it's, it's, four it's out not. Of five. It's, it's, uh, yeah, I think I think you know what? It doesn't have a drive-through, so it's not fast food. Yeah, I think. It's yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Well, I think then. It's right. uh, the, the Astrid. judges have spoken. Yeah, that Astrid's is a no, right. but okay. but Carl's Jr., <laughs> McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, all of those would have worked. Okay. Uh, yeah, but you said Baker's like a good man. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So Omar is still at one. Jesus. Gabor, you could uh, you could win it right here. UCLA, which has been voted the number one public school in uh, in in the United States, stands for University of California, Los Angeles. Can you name five other UCs? Go. UCR, UCI, UCSD, UCSB, UCB. Boom! Wow. I mean, was I was hoping fast. for the cities, but yes, they <gasps> are. Those oh. are all correct. <laughs> oh, they're fine. Hope it's for yes. the Yes. Yeah. Uh, UC Irvine is what he said. UC Riverside, UC Santa Barbara, UC Santa Cruz, and UC Berkeley, I believe is what he said. But then also there's UC Davis, UC Merced, UC San Diego, which Kawhi Leonard went to. What? What? Oh, no, he, he went to San Diego State. Never mind. Sorry. Uh, and UC San Francisco. <laughs> so, uh, right. hey, that's two. He got two. UCI Omar has one. Right here. Right here. Yeah. Nice. So uh, should we give Omar a chance to, uh, to catch up, or do we just declare Gabor a winner? I destroyed him. Yeah, you destroyed me, man. Yeah. You destroyed me, dude. You're winning. Uh, Gabor, uh, I'll be honest, man. How much of a letdown was this, dude? Like, or was it like everything you hoped for? It delivered, man. It it delivered. <laughs> I think that's an insult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think that's an insult, dude. Well, thank you so much yeah. for being a patron and uh, playing along and uh, listening to our shenanigans and uh, being a fan of, uh, you know, everybody from the KBCU. Is that what they, they – the Kevin and Bean uh, Creative Universe, right? Yeah, that's what Michael Schneider uh, Yeah, man. Has, has so thanks for us. joining us, dude. Um, and that'll Sorry be it. I was late, Gabor. <laughs> it's all good, man. Oh, it, it's all good. Can I give a quick shout-out? For sure. Yeah. Oh, I just want to give a shout-out to uh, to my kids, Miklos, Cora, and Annika. Love you guys. Oh, man. Awesome, trio dude. right awesome, there. Awesome, dude. Yeah, well, yeah, Well, it's yeah. funny because they'll never hear this. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think, I don't think that his kids want to hear about horse jizz and, and, and Omar small cock. cock and stuff like that. So uh, maybe he just fast-forwards to the end, you yeah, know? for sure. When they turn 18. Yep. All right, dude. Thanks, Gabor. <laughs> 